Hey everybody, how y'all doing? This is Carla Y. Nix with today's inspiration. And as always, I'm here to encourage you and to remind you that you can live every single day of your life on purpose. I'm learning that trials and tribulations obviously uh, teach us lessons. That's one thing I've always said, Lord, what am I to learn from this situation? What are you trying to tell me? And what is the test? I know that one current situation I'm going through is is deep, it's heavy, it's, it's overwhelming. At times it feels like my mind is just going to blow up because it's just so much. And it's like, um, you know, it's just, it's just a lot. And and I said, Lord, how much more can I take? I don't think I could take anymore. Help me, Lord. Help me. But one thing, uh, as I was talking to my husband about the situation, and uh, of course, he supports me 100%. And he, you know, I'm his wife. He loves me. And he hates to see me going through this period of, of tribulation. Um, but I was saying to him, I know one thing I believe I'm learning from this is is showing me how I don't want to be. It's showing me how, you know, there I know that that in my life, I know that there's better and there's greater that's coming. I know that I'm still fulfilling my purpose. I haven't completely fulfilled it and there's more for me to do. And in doing so, I understand and know that I have to work with people. And that's one thing I do anyway. I, I am an excellent team team worker. I'm not just, you know, making um, uh, empty sounds. I'm telling the truth. I am an excellent team worker. I am excellent in organizing and coordinating things. This is what I do. This is what I love. Um, but what I'm going through now is showing me how I do not want to be with people. And it's letting me know, you know, there's been times when I've said, why can't I be like this? Why can't I be like that? Why can't I do what they do? But God is showing me for that I should be who I am and be the person that he designed as he designed me and to use the talents and gifts that I have in a way that is pleasing to him. Uh, there are just some ways, you know, we have to be mindful how we treat people and how we uh, handle people. People are valuable. You know, I, uh, this is I'm, I'm definitely not a preacher and definitely not a pastor, but I'm going to make a point. Even for pastors as shepherds, as a shepherd, um, the under shepherd, watching over God's flock, are as, as, as church members, we are valuable to God. And he has told, he has said to the shepherd, more or less, do not, you know, they're supposed to treat us well or treat us correctly. They're not, they're not supposed to fleece us. They're not supposed to um, manipulate us and do all kinds of things because, you know, that, that we're important to God. And, and so whatever area you're in, remember that people, the, the, the human resource, people are important. So treat people with respect and treat people in the way that you want to be treated. Period. But I am being shown. I don't want to be a certain way. And I thank God for making me as he has made me. So, um, you know, this way I can walk in my purpose and continue to do what I need to do and to continually uh, be pleasing to him. God bless you. Have a great day. This is Carla Y. Nix with today's inspiration.